Yes, Air Force One touched down in North Louisiana tonight, making this the third time in the span of a month our states received a visit from the White House. The president's hoping that with one final push, it could turn the governor's mansion red. In a packed Civic Center, President Trump addresses thousands of supporters in Monroe, pushing for votes for Republican governor candidate Eddie Rusponi. It is time to replace your failed governor, John Bell Edwards, with Eddie Rusponi, who's going to do an incredible job. And Rusponi was quick to thank his former opponent for governor, Congressman Ralph Abraham, for forcing a runoff with the Democratic incumbent, John Bell Edwards. John Bellwood might be your governor today if it wouldn't be for J Congressman Abraham working very hard, the two of us, traveling this state to make sure that we got the vote out to let the state of Louisiana know we can do better. The president had similar rallies in Mississippi and Kentucky in the last week, hoping to send a radical message to the Democrats in Washington. But with your help, we are going to drain the swamp. Political expert Ed Shervinak says Republican candidates in several state races are appreciating the support on the road from the president, but it could backfire. The problem is, is that for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. And so the president is also mobilizing the Democrats as well. They're energized. And so the question is, is how many Republicans will be energized versus how many Democrats will be. As for Rusponi, he hopes tonight's rally will not only boost his chance to lead the state, but also helps President Trump's bottom line. We need to send them a message, folks. Louisiana is conservative. We're going to have a conservative governor, an outsider, a businessman, someone who would make us number one in the nation. We can do that with your vote.